further member statements. The member from Kingston in the audience. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to talk about the Rohingya Muslims who are fleeing violence and persecution in Myanmar. Since August, more than a half million men, women and children have had to flee their homes to make the punishing journey for refuge in Bangladesh. These numbers will rise. The United Nations confirms the Rohingya are facing ethnic cleansing. Hundreds have already been murdered. And those who have been spared, including young children, have watched their villages burn to the ground. The New York Times recently described soldiers tearing babies from their mother's arms and throwing them into the fire, boys being beheaded and girls being gang-raped, among many other horrors. I am proud that Canada so often calls out transgressions against humanity, and that's why I believe that we must recognize and condemn this violence. Shortly, I will be presenting a petition that calls for us to acknowledge the violence in Myanmar. I am so proud of those members of my riding of Kingston and the Islands, an effort spearheaded by Zerman Khan, who is here with us along with his family today in the gallery and putting this petition together. In closing, Mr. Speaker, we've heard these crimes be described as unimaginable, but they are imaginable, and we do know they're going on. The cries of those experiencing this depraved persecution in Myanmar must not be ignored. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Merci.